This video is all about what no one tells you about shopping. I'm gonna show you how to be more effective when you're adding pieces to your wardrobe and start loving the clothing that you're wearing. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and let's get started. Now I'm all about being an open person, but I think for women, it's constantly marketed to us that we should like lose our minds and have zero vision when shopping and just kind of embrace the, the act itself. But this really leads to having a cluttered closet that isn't cohesive or functional. And I have a problem with that. My first tip is to really stop yourself from buying things that just get your heart racing. All the time I notice myself just picking up things that I think are cool, and this isn't a reason enough to buy something. You have to have a purpose. One of my biggest habits I had was looking at other people who look great in something and then buying that for myself. With social media, we see such a disconnect. People live in different cities, they have different lifestyles, and using somebody else as a barometer for what looks good on you is never a good idea. In fact, I was always looking at my favorite Instagrammers and just kind of trying to replicate that same look. Now, I'm all for inspiration, but I want you guys to keep in mind that it does take self-exploration to find out what looks good on you. All Instagrammers are portraying a brand and a vision, and they are selling to a demographic, whether it's fitness, fashion, or something else, they are targeting an audience, and this is really important to understand. When you're shopping, I want you to start being able to identify the target audience. You can see this usually just by walking in. For example, this store is made for the modern woman. She definitely is a work professional and she wears all of the basics really well. I quickly stopped shopping at stores that clearly didn't align with who I am right now. Here's how that relates to you. You as a person have a very specific lifestyle. Most likely you have needs in your wardrobe that surpass your need to just dress like your favorite Instagrammer or a celebrity. Just on a personal note, for an everyday look, I always go with things that are more simple and minimalistic now. And I've stopped buying the weird patterns, weird textures, and things that are generally hard to pair with other items. And it's made me a happier person and it's made getting dressed a lot easier. One of my biggest problems was impulse shopping. Every time I would enter a store, it was like the items were so captivating and the lighting and the music was adding to the vibe, which meant I was going to try on things that I really didn't like. And then when I thought about it, I was like, do I have a function for this in my wardrobe? And I'm like, no, no, no. I go to work every day. There's no way I can wear this with my work wardrobe. And I'm not going to wear this every single time I go out on the weekend. This kind of thought process is going to become natural to you. And it'll help you discern what items are actually of value to you in your wardrobe and which ones are just exciting and maybe should be left at the store. You're going to learn to stay away from certain stores. I used to work at Victoria's Secret Pink, so I was always wearing their stuff. And then I realized it doesn't align with who I am anymore. So I stopped shopping at not only that store, but several stores that don't kind of build the vision that I want to create for myself. People often think style happens on accident, but it takes a lot of care and discipline and it's totally achievable. So I want to do an exercise with you. A long, long, long time ago, I, I came from a school where everybody looked uh, a certain way and I looked completely different and I got bullied about the way that I looked, the way that I dressed, things like that. And this exercise is kind of a way to take back your power. This is something I did when I really decided I wasn't going to dress for other people anymore. I was going to dress for myself and the way that I like to. So I want you guys to do this exercise with me. Just really think on what it is that you want to express about yourself, what you want to bring through in the clothing that you wear. And even just having this awareness will help you shop in that direction and create a really great style for yourself. As we move on, please thumbs up this video. This video is unsponsored, but it's sponsored by my own thumbs up or down if you're not enjoying it. Let's keep going. One of the things I realized that stopped me from creating the wardrobe I loved was my addiction to just buying things. Like if I saw that little sale tag, I would always make a beeline for the sale section and try and find whatever I was looking for at a discounted price. And the problem with this is that I was always compromising how I felt in the item and if it would actually serve the needs I had in my closet. There are no brands out there that want you to know about alterations. Look at this dress. I'm, I have a whole new way of shopping. I needed a little black dress. I tried this one on and I decided that I felt actually pretty confident in it despite it didn't fit me perfectly. But the thing is, we don't all have off the rack bodies. It's really normal to need alterations. And again, brands will never tell you this. But now I can recognize right away, I wanna tighten up the waist on this, let out the bum area so that my curves really pop and remove some fabric from underneath the bum to create a really nice S silhouette. All brands can be altered. Every piece of clothing can be altered. And if you didn't know, every single celebrity does alterations to their clothing. It is so super normal. And once you do it, you realize that you are actually perfect the way you are. 
which is why you don't actually need to fall into the marketing of buying new things all the time. I'm sure you have many items in your existing closet that could be altered to fit you beautifully, just the way I had this dress fitted for me. Now, this is part of my capsule wardrobe collection. This is something I'm going to wear again and again every single time that I need to wear a little black dress. Because I've had it altered, because it fits me so well now, it's like a glove and I feel so comfortable and confident. I don't mind wearing it again and again. This is the beauty of a capsule wardrobe collection. All of the pieces go together, which makes dressing yourself super simple and easy. In order to build a capsule wardrobe, you wanna pick some foundation pieces, pieces that you wear again and again and feel really good in, and create a color palette that means that you can interchange each piece with each piece. This is gonna give you multiple outfit combinations and eliminate decision fatigue while making you look really put together with minimal effort. This is such a good thing for the modern day woman. If you guys would like to see an entire video dedicated to the capsule wardrobe, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. I love you guys, bye-bye.